I'm so tapped up, and this is beads of orange glass, which doesn't seem to have sound, but sometimes that's all right. Beads of Orange Glass is a wordless storytelling game. Two players with different but equal roles collaboratively shape the space in the game. Um, I'm playing the solo, which is possible, but it's a bit strange. Uh, I'm a little bit confused about the controls. Um, I've got my controller here, which is doing the spreading the moss and ooh, growing some trees, I guess. Um, I wonder, do I? Oh. Can I do it with WASD too? arrow keys to oh we can make deer best button seven is the deer button eight I'm pretty sure eight is supposed to be the human button but it doesn't seem to be working who needs a human button anyway I mean honestly I can't see myself oh there I am um, see it's definitely different and doesn't you know it's a bit weird to play it single player but uh like I said, I've got my controller here booping some weird stuff. Um, I just really love the visual style. This is by uh, Lauren Schmidt, um, who also made um, Strawberry Cubes. Uh, get out of here, Mr. Mouse. Um, Strawberry Cubes and uh, is working on something. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks really cool. Look at how, look at how jaunty these deer are. That is the jauntiest deer. I enjoy the jauntiness of these deers. Can I, how do I make... Ooh, rain! Rain sounds fun. I don't know how to rain. Is it raining already? I don't see any rain. Heat. Heat. Oh, there's the rain. Oh, there's the heat. Okay. There's a bit of a delay on the rain and the heat. Like I said, I don't think there's any... Does it seem like there's sound? Just a little strange. I, I really love the... Oh. I should probably read the readme. Is there a readme? Instructions.txt. Of course there is. Oh. It's not actually. <laughs> Let me show you how helpful this is. Um, how do I. Um, there we go. Move and verb. Yeah, so you just kind of... It's kind of like Strawberry Cubes. I should have guessed. But Strawberry Cubes, the whole thing was kind of... You figure out how to mess with it. And it's kind of this, too. But I just really love the... Um, what does that do? Um, I really love the visual style of what's going on here. Um, I'm really looking forward to her new game. Um, like I said, I don't remember what it's called, but it looks really great. Um, ooh, there's a thing over here. Beads of orange glass was commissioned for no quarter. Pleasure brewing works something glitching experimental. Which kind of always does glitching experimental, but you know. Oh, falling star. Ooh! We've got some colors. What's the... I think I, I'm mashing falling star. It's just kind of making the background a hellscape, which is pretty great. Hellscape is one of my favorite varieties of scape. I do wish this had a bit of music. It would be neat if... Oh! Oh! That's what those do. Okay. Neat. I do kind of wish there was a mode, like a single player mode, that just, you know, I guess randomly adds stuff. So you don't have to, like, just grope a controller here like I'm doing while moving around. But I really love the visuals of this. If you uh, got a good bundle, which is the uh, like biggest bundle ever, I think, that Ichio did, um, you probably got this in your package if you uh, purchased that. Um, I, I couldn't even try. I, I, I kind of tried with that bundle to list all of the good games. There's too many. Um, there's tons of really great stuff in there. So if you bought that, just just poke around with every game in there. Give every game just a few minutes is what I tried to do. Just when you get a bunch of good games or you know, a bunch of any quality of games, just give every one of them. Just Honestly, I, I tend to find within just a few minutes, I can see there's at least some potential of interest or not. Um, that's what I did with my Steam library a while ago. Uh, I still have a ton of unsorted crap, but... Uh, I just gave every game just a few minutes and, you know, 
sometimes a few minutes is all you need to even just to play it. Like, you know, you see some cool, strange stuff, you know, eh. You know, maybe this would be, you know, I think this would be a better experience with a friend. And, you know, also, you're kind of both figuring out what the hell is even going on. You know, cooperative understanding what the hell is going on. One of the most, you know, enjoyable experiences. Um, surprise, there's no sound. Did, did Strawberry Cubes? Strawberry Cubes had sound, right? I don't know why. When I press X, it goes into, like, this mode. I don't know what this is. I really love the visual rendering here, though. Um... You know, the, the visuals are definitely fantastic. <laughs> Look at his legs, too. The, the legs. Those are very good legs. I would rate those, you know, those are within the top 90th percentile of legs. Or is that 10th percentile? How do percentile? I, I forget. I, I used to know these things for high school garbage. But, you know, that's the sort of thing you just Google. You don't need to remember that. You just Google it. You know, they would never let you know that in school. You know, you're not gonna have a smartphone. No, you're not, you're not gonna be able to look things up. That's not a thing adults do. <laughs> what a waste. Anyway, this is Beads of Orange Glass, which is surprisingly blue, considering the name, at least presently. But you know, it's the thought that counts.